In today's divided society, opinion often overrides fact. Feelings hijack reason. Bias crushes evidence. And so we find ourselves in a post-truth world where facts don't seem to matter. How did we get here? And how can the critical thinking of psychological science help? Consider immigration. A Gallup survey found that half of Americans believe that immigrants tend to be criminals. Is this true? Compared with native-born Americans, immigrants actually commit less violent crime. After analyzing rates of imprisonment, the conservative Cato Institute confirmed that immigrants are less likely to be incarcerated. Even undocumented immigrants are less likely to be incarcerated than native-born Americans. Such bias is bipartisan. In fact, social psychologists report that the magnitude of liberal and conservative partisan bias is virtually identical. Just as conservatives may overestimate the criminality of immigrants or the self-defense benefits of non-hunting guns, liberals may underestimate evidence of the benefits of marriage and religious engagement for health and happiness. So how did we get here? You will see throughout our text that psychological science helps us understand how we humans are vulnerable to embracing untruths. Here's a quick overview of five contributing factors. Some misinformation is simply false news. These lies in the guise of news are intended to manipulate our spending or our votes. And lies seem to be especially sticky. In one study of 126,000 stories tweeted by three million people, falsehoods diffuse significantly farther, faster, deeper, and more broadly than the truth. Whether true or false, statements seem more believable when we've heard them repeated. What we hear over and over gets remembered. When it's easier to say and remember, it feels familiar and it seems true. Dramatic events such as plane crashes, mass murders, and terrorist acts capture our attention. They are more cognitively available, meaning they come to mind quickly. We tend not to tune into the much less dramatic ongoing threats that claim far more lives one by one. Dramatic school shootings capture our attention and concern. While nearly 33,000 Americans die each year, that's 92 a day, by suicidal, homicidal, and accidental gun deaths. Biased information is fed to us and amplified by the echo chambers of today's social and cable media, thanks to a phenomenon called group polarization. Most of us, and that's me too, tend to read blogs and social media posts from those who think like we do. In one study shown here, Twitter users overwhelmingly sent messages to and retweeted messages from those who share their liberal, blue, or conservative, red, ideology. Once ingrained in our mind, misinformation tends to stick around. That's largely because of our natural confirmation bias. We tend to seek and welcome evidence for our ideas rather than against them. We prefer to watch news programming that supports and amplifies our ideas. This tendency also feeds group polarization. False news, repetition, cognitive availability, group polarization, and confirmation bias. All these things can lead us to believe what's just not true. The good news is that we can build a real truth world. You will learn throughout our text that psychological science encourages us to blend an open-minded curiosity and an attitude of humility with critical thinking. Smart thinkers ask, what do you mean? And how do you know? Learning about psychological science really helps. Research shows that studying psychology can increase our humility. Psychology helps us recognize how errors and biases creep into our thinking and how to avoid them such as by putting our presumptions to the test. As fallible creatures, we should hold our own beliefs tentatively, and we should assess others' ideas with openness. Learning about psychology can also help refute myths and misconceptions and reduce acceptance of conspiracy theories. Through observation and experiments, we can separate truth from error, both in others' thinking and in our own.